What's up everyone and welcome to the club. Today we'll be working on a fur rendering technique while drawing a baby deer fawn. Now for this lesson, I'll be starting with this 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil with a 2B graphite stick. Let's start by sketching a line coming down the center of the page. So we start at the very top of the middle. Just gonna lightly work our way down using these short lines. Let's go to the center of our page and draw another line going across from left to right. Now we're gonna be using these two lines to help us create a circle in the center of our page. So from that center point, let's move up. It's gonna mark off the top of our circle. Let's measure that same distance from the center down towards the bottom. And then we'll repeat that across this horizontal line. So measuring that same distance from the center towards the left and the right. Now you wanna connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create our circle. So we'll start with the top left and we don't have to get perfect with this circle. We're using this as a guide. So we just rough this in and go back and just smooth this out. Now from the side of our circle, let's sketch a line coming down towards the bottom. And we're also gonna extend that up towards the top. I'm also gonna add one more line going across the bottom of our circle. Now that we have our circle and guidelines, we're gonna start blocking out the basic shape of the head. Let's start with the eyes. From this corner, we're gonna draw a circle coming down and then in, about that size. And we'll line that up on the right, and draw that same size circle. Now along the bottom of our circle in the center, we're gonna draw a square. Let's start with the sides coming down, and we'll close off the bottom. And this is for the nose. From the bottom of the nose, let's draw another straight line going across from left to right. Now on the left side of the nose, let's step out. It's gonna curve this up, pull this in towards the middle, go around and then down on the right side. Let's draw the chin. From the ends, curve this down, go straight across and then up on the right. So we're just rounding out the bottom corners of the chin. From the corners of the mouth, let's angle the head. We're gonna go up and then out towards these two points. Now from here, we're gonna move back up and block in the ears. Let's start on top of the eyes from this corner, angle this up and then out towards the tip of the ear to right about there. And do the same thing on the right, going up towards the same height. Now we're gonna add some volume to the ears. Let's start from the tip, come down an angle, round out the ear, and then pull that down and then in towards the side of the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming down an angle, round this out, and then come down and in. Let's go back to the left side. We're gonna angle this down towards the bottom, round up the ear, and then pull that in towards the side of the head. Now we wanna finish off the blocking stage with the side of the neck. Let's start from the jaw. We're gonna step in, draw two straight lines coming down towards the bottom of our page. Now that we captured the basic proportions, I wanna go back and clean this up by erasing some of these guidelines. Okay, so now that we have a clean rough sketch, I wanna use this as a guide to help us add some more detail and refine the shape. Now I'm gonna start with the eyes. We're gonna start from the top left, start across the top of the eye coming in. Now we wanna create a point along the inside of the eye. Coming down, round up the bottom of the eye, and go up towards the side. Now the eyes are gonna protrude up the side of the head slightly. I'm just gonna mirror this over on the right side. Now along the top, we're just gonna block in a reflection. So just a little rectangle on the top of each eye. Now we're just gonna draw the top of the eye there. We're gonna go up and in. It's gonna add that trim coming in and then down. Let's go down towards the bottom of the eye and then back up. Let's round up the jaw. So we're just gonna come down at an angle from the eye Round up the cheek and then pull that in. So we're just taking out that sharp corner. Let's add a guide along the center with two lines. Now the hair is going to sit on top of the head, so we just want to flare this out and then bend that up. Let's add a little bit of texture in the center. 
And I'm just gonna flatten off the top of the head, just taking out that round edge in the circle, just flattening this off, and we'll add some more shape to the nose. So we're just gonna curve the top, come down the side, I'm just gonna add a curve for the nostrils on either side, and we'll round out the bottom of the nose. I'm just going to add some curve and shape to the neck and trim in the center. Now we're just going to add some more shape to the ears. So we're just going to round out that inside and work our way around towards the tip. Also taking out that sharp point on the tip of the ear. Just want to add that fold on the inside of the ear, coming down towards the side of the head. We'll come back and add some more detail to the inside later. Okay, now you can see that we have a much better representation of our deer, so I'm going to go back and just clean this up before we get into more detail and shadows. Now we're going to go in and just darken up the eyes and our contrast, starting on the left. Just working our way around the trim of the eye. Now along the top, we're just going to add those lashes. Just going to pull this down and then out. And then just fade that in. Just going to enhance that highlight along the top. Now from the eye, we're just going to work our way out. Just adding some more shading and detail. So some wrinkles and texture. Just add a curve in the center of each eye. Now we're gonna enhance the glare. So let's start by darkening up the top, going around that highlight. And from here, we're just gonna fade this down. Just coming in towards the glare, across the bottom of the eyes. Just smoothing that out. I'm just going to add a soft fur texture across the cheeks. Starting along this line, I'm just pulling this up and then out. Going in towards the mouth. Let's add some fur across the side of the head, going across the ear. Now we're going to go back to the nose. Again, just tracing out the contours first. I'm going to darken up the bottom of the nose and we'll fade that up towards the top. I'm just going to darken up the left side and then fade that across. So the highlight's going to sit on the top right. Just add a little bit of a shadow underneath the nose across the mouth. And we'll soften up that fur across the chin. shade in that area around the muzzle, going up towards the top. Now I'm just going to work our way along the side, just 
shading this in slightly. And then we're gonna go back and start adding some sort of texture just above the eye, coming down and then in. Add a little bit of fur along the bottom edge and just fade that down. And this will help create a little bit of a shadow as well. Now we're gonna to go to the top of the head and just pull this texture coming down and then in. Starting from the middle, I'm just gonna to start to bend this out and then down towards the right, towards the ear. And do the same thing on the left side. Now with the ears, I want to add a little bit of subtle detail on the inside. So I'm just going to add that seam, just adding some texture going across and then out. And going up along the top. And just fading that out towards the tip. Now I'm going to move to the flat edge of my pencil and start adding some various tones. So I'm going to start with the edge of the ear along the bottom and just fade that up. Also softening up some of that fur texture on the inside. Now as we get closer to the end, we're just going to tighten up our shadows and textures and always be sure to sign our artwork and that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a baby deer fawn. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. Be sure to smash that like button and leave your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.